couple of the previous demos, I showed you just how powerful the adjustment layers are. And in this demo, I'm gonna show you how that can actually work against you, but a safety precaution that Photoshop throws in there because the people at Adobe know how powerful adjustment layers can be. So I'm gonna to go to File and Open, and in my Chapter 8 folder, I will open 8.4, Adjustment Layer Masking. And I have this photo of a family member and there is a lot of blue in this pool photo. I want to change the color of the water. So the first thing I do is never work on your original layer. I'm going to hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC to make a copy jump. And remember, right next to your properties panel is your adjustments panel. The most powerful one is the one right at the top, hue and saturation. The reason why I keep using that is it has the target adjustment tool. So remember, if you come out on your screen and you just click and drag, you're going to change the saturation. The water is saturated enough. I want to change the color of the water. So on a Mac, I have to hold my command key or on a PC, I would hold my control key. And now when I click and drag, I can change the physical color of that water. So maybe I'll change it to a greenish tint just for the heck of it. Just so the photo looks a little more interesting. But look what that did to the kickboard. I turn off my adjustment layer. That kickboard was the same shade of blue as the water. I was not trying to change the color of the kickboard. I only wanted to change the color of the water. It also changed the color of the blue on his little floaties. I wasn't trying to change those. I was only trying to change the color of the water. So this is one instance where it worked too well. So all I would need to do now is zoom in and every adjustment layer automatically comes with its own layer mask. Photoshop knows it's probably gonna work too well. So now I take a brush I hold Control and Option key on my Mac, and I drag, that would be Control and Alt key and your right mouse button on a PC. And I'll drag this over and down. We'll make the brush a little harder, make it a little smaller. And now I can scrape away the adjustment from affecting this part of his floaties right there. We'll take it out right there. I did want that to be blue right in there. Those are part of the original floaties. That was a shade right there, okay. There was some blue on his trunks, so we'll take off some of that green right there. And the kickboard. I come in with a small brush and I scrape away the adjustment layer by painting with black. Black will erase the effect from everywhere I paint. So now if I go like this and I accidentally go into the water and now I'm seeing a strip of blue water, that's no big deal. That's why I love layer masks. X for white and I cover up the water again. I want it to stay green. X for black and I say don't change the color of the kickboard. So as I usually do, I focus on the outer edges first. That's where I really have to be careful and more detailed, okay? I can paint all this inside, no problem. I don't have to be as careful, but I really have to be careful around the edges. So that's what I focus on typically first. Focus on the edge right there. Then I can paint in the rest. I'll focus on this edge, just getting that right up to the edge of the water line right there. Then I paint in the rest, block the adjustment on all the rest of this kickboard. But as usual, I wanna focus on my edges first. Do the slow detail work. Get that done first. Right there, get this out. And we'll move that over a little bit with my space bar. Get that out of the way from that layers panel there. All right, now I can make my brush a little bigger 
and just paint out all the rest of this adjustment layer. Don't affect the kickboard down here. Don't affect the kickboard over here. Don't affect the kickboard anywhere. Block out the adjustment layer. I don't want the kickboard to change colors. And check it out. There we go. Instant change of the water. Here's before and there's after. Pretty basic color adjustments. I love that effect. That's how you use the adjustment layers layer masks because sometimes this works too well. And check out that gun back there, the water gun. That was blue. Well, now it's green. So let's block that out too with a really small brush. And I paint with black. I didn't want to change the color of the water gun either. Let's go right along that kind of wavy edge and the ripples of the water right here. Get all that to come back as our blue water gun. There we go. Then it kind of stands out in the pool a little better. Change the color of the water to whatever you want, but that's how you do it. Adjustment layers come with their own layer mask, and that gives you more power to do better detailed color editing here in Photoshop. Remember, every time you're done, save a copy. Last name, first name, we'll call that color the water on my desktop as a JPEG and you always set it to an eight or high quality JPEG. I'll see you in the next coloring demo.